All the colorful dresses. I, I would like to take a photo with all the ladies who got your national costume on. And the two good looking men with some costumes as well. Yeah, I'd like to have a photo with you all. I've only seen you all on, photo, on TV. I've seen costumes on TV. Uh, but, but it's really beautiful to see you all in person. I just love your head here. I think it's awesome. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I bring you a greeting from Australia. I was born in Malaysia. Migrated to Australia 28 years ago. Uh, married to an Australian lady and have a child. Uh, uh, my church is called Coastal Life Church. It is two hours north of Gold Coast in Australia, we know Gold Coast. Uh, in the state of Queensland. I, I minister among only white people. Uh, there's no Indians. Not too many Africans. Uh, and uh, so my congregation is a white congregation. But I just uh, love ministering to you all. Hallelujah. Amen. Next time I come here, I get up and dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I might take up, pick up some of the African spirit and go home. <laughs> And uh, so it's so good and wonderful to be here. God is good and God is moving all over the world. And uh, so let's believe God for great things. And uh, usually I'll get straight to the message. Uh, but today I want to tell you a testimony. And then we'll go to the word of God. Uh, this, this will encourage you. And uh, the Bible says Jesus is risen. Our God is alive. And he answers prayers. That's how we know he's alive. Because when we ask him, he answers us. And uh, therefore we can expect great things from him. Today is Resurrection Sunday. We are celebrating his uh, resurrection. But I just want to give this testimony to encourage you. This is a testimony from Australia. Of a lady in my church. And uh, she ha has a cousin. Uh, this cousin of hers is a single mom. So financially she's in a bit of difficulty. So we live by the, the along the coast. Along the beach. And, and, and this is a uh, one day was uh, walking by the beach. And uh, she was praying to God. And she told God that uh, my son is coming for dinner. I don't have any meat at all. Australians must eat meat. <laughs> it's not a proper dinner without meat on the table. And uh, so just telling God that I, I, this is the situation. And she was sad because she couldn't give her, her son some meat. Only vegetables. 
alikuwa tu na 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 na, na manya manya ma, as he, ma, mayani tia kumupatia as he finished praying to God wakati ya limaliza kumuomba mungu fi, this is by the beach ilikuwa kule kublash and a fish this size na lusamaki lumuola kwa wambi hivi fell from heaven ikashuka kutoka jumbi nguni Amen. Amen. <laughs> and uh, and she felt sorry for the fish and she wanted to push it back into the water. But the fish kept swimming back to the shore. She wanted the fish to live and swim away but the fish kept swimming back she did it two or three times but it just kept coming back so she thought that uh, maybe this fish is for me the fish is for me so she took the big towel she had wrapped the fish and was walking down the beach he found a fisherman along the shore a fisherman and she told him what has happened and uh, she just told a big fish fell out of heaven and the fisherman began to destroy he said the fish that he had in hand is, is only found in very deep waters those fish do not swim near the shore but what has happened is they've got a certain bird like, a, like an eagle called kite 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 yeah. Yeah, a bird, yeah, a bird. A bird. Kite. and it goes uh, to catch big fishes deep in the sea and, uh, and this lady saw those, those birds flying over when, when the fish were so what has actually happened is this big fish, this uh, bird has gone and caught a very big fish deep in the ocean and it was going to have its dinner <laughs> but when it came to the shore it dropped the fish in front of this lady and it lost its dinner lost it and he was looking around for it but uh, God gave his lady the dinner Amen. 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 and uh, so she took the big fish home and had a great dinner with her son. And uh, she blessed God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you just say, in fact, she wasn't even praying to God. She wasn't praying to God earlier. But she was just telling God. This is what's happening to me. I'm so sad that I can't give my son some meat. And before he could finish a prayer, God answered a prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've read of uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the crows, the ravens bring food for Elijah. Elijah is the wife of We all know that story. Eh? But I never knew God can supply fish. 
sijawahi kusikia kama Mungu anawahi kutoa Amen. I want to just stay to you be serve a living God. He is powerful. He knows the desires of your heart. Whatever you need, maybe. He knows about it all together. And he's got provision for you. He's got blessing for you. He will meet your needs. Whether it be a help. Whether finances. Maybe visas. I don't know what is it that you need. Even if the living God can drop a a fish from heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. He can definitely be your need. Then as Christians, as children of God, we do not fear. Because the God we serve is alive and well. He loves to bless his children. He wants to take care of his children. He wants to do good to you. Jesus chose you to bless you in each and every way. Therefore we, therefore we do not fear. We do not worry. Because we got a great and a mighty God. He is almighty. He can do anything and everything. Nothing is impossible for him. Things may be impossible for you. But nothing is impossible for him. And he loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And let's give a Lord a clap offering. We don't like to see miracles happen in our lives. Oh, I've got my own story to tell, but I'll tell it another time. Uh, but I just want to encourage you today. Uh, that was a very strange story. Amen. Amen. I, I might want to tell you just to encourage you. There's another case in Australia. A man needed 2,500 Australian dollars. He had to pay a bill. And he was praying. And praying. And praying. And God began to speak to him. God told him to go to the beach. And walk by the beach. He was thinking. I got a problem. I'm depressed. I'm worried. What's the point of walking by the beach? I, got my, I want my financial problem solved. But the Lord told him, go and walk by the beach. Like I said, we live by the beach. Our church is by the beach. We, we are a coastal town. So this man decided to obey God. And he began to walk by the beach. He walked up. He walked down. And he said, I still got the problem, Lord. I need two thousand five hundred dollars. And he was wondering what he was doing by the beach. The problem is not getting solved. Walking by the beach. And then he noticed. As the waves begin to come in. He saw a fifty dollar Australian note. It came to the shore. He was very excited. It was a crisp new 
And then as you begin to walk up and down the, 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 the seashore, the waves brought in another $50 bill. As he kept walking, he saw another $50 bill. And then more and more $50 bills begin to come. Finally, the, 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 the $50 bill stopped coming. So he gathered up all the money and counted that was $2,500. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God can bring it from heaven. God can bring it through the sea. Amen. God can meet your need in any way. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. So believe God. Believe God for a breakthrough. Believe God for a blessing. Believe God for the victory that you need in your life. He is well able. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Nothing is impossible. Amen. 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 How many of you want a $50 bill and a fish? <laughs> Pray hard. Oh, <laughs> my I'm not going to give it to you. God, God will have to give it to you. Amen. Amen. Strange things happen in Australia. Amen. I think there are other testimonies as well. But uh, the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Do not be discouraged. God is on your case. He'll make a way for you where there's no way. He will help you in a time of need. He will do miracles, signs and wonders. How he does it, we will never know. Because God never does it the normal way. It's always supernatural. Because he's a supernatural God. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's your provider. He's your Ropal Lafe. He's your healer. Amen. As children of God, we never have to fear. Whatever we don't have, God has got it. And he wants to give it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He just wants to give it to you. He wants to bless you. He's got a future and a hope for you. Let's continue to trust God. It's Easter Sunday. Let's uh, uh, stir ourselves up in the Holy Ghost. Say, God, I'm believing you. Lord, I'm believing you this Sunday. Lord, I'm going to believe you from now on. If you can do that in Australia, you can do it in Denmark. You can meet my need. You can change my life. My faith is on you. The cross is sufficient. Every provision is made in the cross. And I receive it by faith. And I receive it by faith. And I receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Amen. There might be more strange stories than that. But that will do for today. That will do, that's enough. Let's just pray.